dancing at that. Sir, how are you doing today? You doing all right? You believe in the Bible? You want to come over here and talk for a second? Damn. How you doing, sir? You believe in the Bible? You want to have a couple words with me? Two minutes, that's all I need. First off, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to our Heavenly Father. I want to say, call hello, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Right? Who are we? We're the children of Israel. Did you know that? You think so? You've seen us around? Okay. Well, what do you know so far? You don't know much? Did you know that you're standing on stolen land? Yeah. Most of America? Yeah. But how did most of America get like that? Good question. People came over, took it from the, took the, it native, from population. Mm, the native population. Those were Israelites that were raped, robbed, and murdered. That's right. mm -hmm. And Man. your people decided to do that. That's right. That's right. Now I know you weren't there, so you weren't personally responsible for it. But you know that that is going to be a judgment on you That's right. because your forefathers left you a check to cash right bring that up it's the book of isaiah chapter 14 verse 21 let's start at the top book of isaiah chapter 14 verse 1 now what this is what this is is this is future prophecy right so a lot about the bible is that it has a lot of prophecy in here Right? It told us if we didn't follow our Heavenly Father, we would be put in slavery. Right. And that's exactly what happened to us. That's right. right. So as a recompense, the people who put us in slavery, in turn, once we come back to our God, will be put in slavery. Right. And I'm going to prove that to you because I don't want my words to, because to, I could tell you anything. That's right. I want the, the, the book to, to say something. It's the book of Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. You know who Jacob is? Father of Israel. Well, yeah, he was wrestled an angel and then changed his name to Israel. And will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers. So if you're not a part of Israel, would you be considered a stranger? Okay, let's keep going. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob and the people shall take them shall ask them shall take them shall beg them shall take them and bring them to their place and the house of Israel shall possess them shall possess them so that carriage right there is your possession Right? I can't have that carriage. I mean, I don't want it. You know, I don't have no kids to worry about like that, but that's your possession. So if I took that possession, it would then become my possession if you need to get it back from me. Right? Right. So let's keep going. Shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. How do you feel about that? That your future is going to be servitude. No, 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 no. There's a hierarchy to everything, right? There's God first. Even so, even so. Uh huh. The year of Jubilee, set some people free from slavery. Interesting. But you know that that law only. Even so. Well, we're going to get that for you. But you know that the the year of Jubilee. To the world. Right. But you know that that year of Jubilee is only for Israel-born slaves. If you have an Israel born slave, you have to release him from his debt after the seventh year. That's right. But the strangers, we can keep forever. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna pull a precept for you that says that we can pass you down to our children. Somebody get that for me. It's in uh, 35, right? Let me get Genesis 35. Because again, I don't wanna be the liar here, right? I just wanna read. The nation of Israel is a blessing. The world. They, they represent God to the world. But who is the nation of Israel? That's you think the people over there are the nation of Israel? Because that came about I, 
I don't say. That God came about from deception because God said that he would bring the nation of Israel to the land. That was done by decree from their people. They were put there in 1948 under the Belfort Declaration. That's a British mandate. That had nothing to do with God. Right? Let's read, let's read this real quick. Got it. And this is 35. Which precept you got? Oh, yeah. 35 what? 35 And 25. No, that's not it. Well, while, they, while they look for this precept, while they look for this precept, let me put this down. You got it? Israel. See, as a matter of fact, until we find that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we know that we are the children of Israel. Let's start with some curses, actually. Why don't you hold that? Okay. 3539? You got it? Bring that up. Okay. You got to get the strangers? Yeah, but actually, let's start with 40. 40 is going to tell you what you were just saying. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 25 and verse 40. But as an hired servant and as a sojourner, he shall be with thee and shall serve thee until the year of Jubilee. And that's what you were talking about, the year of Jubilee, right? Okay. And then shall he depart from thee, both he and his children with him, and shall return unto his own family. And unto the possessions of his father shall he return. Now, Salaki, let's go to 39. Let's give him the context. Leviticus 25 and 39. And if thy brother that dwelleth by thee be waxen poor. So this is talking about our brother that's waxen poor. Right? That's not everybody. It's our brother that's waxen poor. That's right. Keep going. And be sold unto thee. Thou shalt not compel him to serve as a bond servant. But as a hired servant. As a hired servant. See, there's a difference. A hired servant and a bond servant. And as a sojourner, he shall be with thee and shall serve thee until the year of Jubilee. And then shall he depart from thee, both, both he and his children with him, and shall return unto his own family. And unto the possession of his father shall he return. There you go. So... It's showing you that there's a clear difference between a bond servant and a hired servant. See, I think that they say the Irish were in slavery, right? But that was actually servitude as well. That was hired indentured servants, right? That's much different than slavery. Slavery, they didn't have a choice. Threw chains on them, sent them on the boat, boom, right? So this right here is di differing between, like I said, the bond servant and the hired servant. What you got? Okay, yeah, let's see the bond servant. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 25 and 46. And ye shall take them as an inheritance for your children after you. To a so lot. 45. Moreover, of the children of the strangers that do sojourn among you. Of them shall ye buy, and of their families that are with you, which they begat in your land, they shall be your possession. 46. And ye shall take them as an inheritance for your children after you, to inherit them for possession. So, again, another difference between the bond and the hired servant, right? The hired servant, after seven years, can be released, or if he chooses to stay with his master, he can have an all put in his ear, and then he can stay with him forever, as long as he wants, right? But the uh, bond servant, yeah, no such luck. None. Abraham's, what you got? Abraham's servants, though, were almost brought into the family. And if it's God's will for me to serve anybody, mm -hmm. pray for me to God. Okay. I'm, I'm about mm -hmm. Well, are you... Are you uh, are you sorry for what your, your your forefathers did in the past? It's reprehensible. it's reprehensible, right? You know there's a way that you can show 
your your uh, your sorry. I can show you that too. Let's see. Let's go to Isaiah forty nine. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 23. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. Because our people were nursing your forefathers' children, correct? Okay, you know, they left them with mammy. That's what they used to call them, the mammy and, you know, and all the servants that were inside the house. Let's keep going. They shall bow down to thee. They shall bow down to thee. Let's keep going. With their face toward the earth and lick up the dust of thy feet. And there you have it. If you want to atone for the sins of your, or at least get a, a more cushiony position in the kingdom, you can bow down. You can kiss the feet of the servants. That's what you can do. If you want to show that you're truly sorry, that is exactly what you can do. Is that what you want to do? God wants me to bow down to you. It's not. It, that, that's straight from the scripture. You want me to read it again? I'll read it again. Isaiah 49, verse 23. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth and lick up the dust of thy feet. Right. So we don't want you to lick our feet. We would be okay with just a pet kiss, right? <laughs> but it's, you're going to have a choice. You're either going to do it now or you're going to do it later. And I'm sure you've seen people doing it out here in front of us. This is something, like I said, you're either going to do it now or you're going to be forced to do it later. Right. And if not, Isaiah chapter 60, 12. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Shall perish. Ye, those nations shall be utterly wasted. Utterly wasted. That means that the remnant of whatever nation that was that choose not to serve us, the Lord is going to knock them right off the chessboard. So, if, if you are an honest man, I feel like you 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 have some honesty in you, sir. Right? We've had a, a nice little dialogue, so small, you know, so short of amount of time. You seem like you have some integrity about you. So now is the time where you will make the choice. You either bend down now or bend down later. It's totally up to you. I bow to God. You bow to God. He is just this guy right here. You bow down to him. Let's let's get Psalms eighty two and six. That's right. Because if you only bow down to God, this, what you got? Uh, Jeremiah 30 and 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee, I will give for a prey. And you heard it? Straight out of the this, this is coming to all nations that have put our people in subjection right kept our people at a low estate did you just see that that brother that just passed by with the raggedy clothes where he at oh he probably walked by but this was the condition that your forefathers put our forefathers in right and essentially your forefathers had a four five hundred year head start on everything Right, because of the fact that you had our people in slavery. So, what you got? Oh, give me the uh, give me that verse twenty one for uh, Isaiah fourteen. Because I just you know I want to give him further confirmation. I don't want him to think that he's doing this for no reason. He's doing this to get a better spot in in the kingdom. Because you guys are going to be in the kingdom, but you're not going to be at the top of the kingdom right now. In this kingdom, this is your heaven. Your, your people are on top, right? If you look at all the banks, if you look at all the churches, if you look at all the institutions of America and around the world, it's usually owned by either a Jewish, which is an Edomite, or it's owned by another Edomite. 
right? So either way, your people are on top. Our people are on the bottom. This is what's going to happen. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children. Remember I was telling you about that check that, that needs to be cashed by your people? Because of the forefathers? Let's hear it. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. There you go. And that's future prophecy. That's coming to pass. I don't know if you, you see in the world, things are getting crazy. Russia is getting tired of the U.S. China is getting tired of the U.S. All of these countries, South Africa is getting tired of the U.S. Right? It's only a matter of time. The book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. And you have too. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. But wait, there's more. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Just so he's very clear, let's get the saints. Because these are the people, whoever these saints are, these are the people that are going to be putting your people in captivity, destroying them. All praise to the Most High. Okay, yeah, you hold on to that one. Let me get this one, 48. Uh, 48 and 1, so at the top. Uh, yeah. Uh, yep. This is the book of uh, Psalms, chapter 149, and verse 1. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song, and his praise in the congregation of saints. Now, the new song that we are going to sing as a nation is coming back to our God, right? Because when you go to church, they tell you God loves everybody. They tell you the law is done away with. You can do whatever the hell you want to do. You want to have a pork chop sandwich? Hey, have fun with that, right? But the reason that we are in a low estate is because we choose to listen to these people that run these churches. On top of... Who? Spirit feeling it. Verse 2. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. I'm going to jump down to verse... Five, let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. There you go. So the spirit is bearing witness right there may not be many words from the little one but the spirit talks to the spirit and that spirit is being riled up it's getting riled up uh yeah I, I wouldn't be so sure because the precepts we just mm. hallelujah hallelujah where, where, where are we going but I do need to go. So, you're not gonna get down? Okay. Okay. And you will bow. All right. Remember that day. Remember, mark this day as the day that we got that answer from this gentleman here. What you got? Oh, yeah. I have 26 and 27. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2 and 26. 
red letter. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. There it is. There it is. There it is. So, you know, unfortunately, Jesus doesn't love you. Uh, God doesn't love you. And look, you either going to get down now or you're going to get put down later. Y'all have a choice, a simple choice.